Hello everyone, this is Paul Brutarelli reporting from the Sport Aviation Expo in Sebring, Florida. We've been wandering around for a couple of days and you might ask what the overall mood is. We would call it mixed to positive. Uh, organizer Bob Wood told us that on Saturday the show had its single biggest gate, so that's a good sign. In general, manufacturers tell us they're looking for a stronger 2010 than they had in 2009. And here's some comments we recorded during our reporting. Well, uh, last year we sold 30 airplanes to our distributors, and they also had some airplanes in stock that they sold. They sold down some inventory, so uh, the glass was half full for us. Um, we think this year we'll do, do about 25% over 2009 and uh, plus people have to add to their inventory. We're expecting a good year. The stock market is back up substantially. Um, people have realized that uh, the sky did not fall. Um, what our industry has to do is uh, keep telling our case, Lightsport Aircraft, about what an investment in their lives having one of these airplanes is. Um, yeah, 2009 was not very good. I think that's the that's my opinion, and I think that's uh, generally accepted. Uh, we, uh, we see signs that 2010 will be better. Uh, certainly not quite as quick a turnaround as we had hoped for, but uh, uh, I think it's, it's going to be a slow recovery. The beginning of the year um, started out slow. Uh, you know, internet traffic, phone calls were, were slow. Uh, kit sales, um, you know, one a month or so at the most. And we didn't have the LSA till, uh, till April. August came and um, the phone started ringing, the email started coming in. Um, we, we ramped up to about three kits a month since August. It's coming, the interest is there, and I think the economy is getting, I think the kit sale is getting a little better, maybe the LSA sale, because I, I think people have seen what's happened, they've got their money, and they, they're they tired of not spending it, I think. That's what we've kind of seen, is they say, well, I've been sitting on it, I've been saving it, I, I just, I want to buy an airplane. Well, we're in the training industry, and just talking about, you know, growth that we've seen in 2009, uh, you know, we started as a startup in May, and uh, overall we've seen uh, growth in the light sports sector. A lot of people seem to be stepping down from larger aircraft and flying light sports. Um, anything from, you know, the Piper Cherokees all the way up to Twins have come through our doors, you know, just wanting to either rent our aircraft or uh, you know, just, uh, you know, retire their medical and start flying under sport. So yeah, when we started opening our doors, we were doing 20 hours a month, 40 hours a month, 60 hours a month, 80 hours a month on our one aircraft. Now we've gotten a few airplanes. Um, so it, se it seems like to, to us that the industry is, is recovering. Well, we're definitely glad to see that 2009 is officially behind us, and uh, you know we've weathered the storm, and, and uh, we've actually you know we had to do a lot of cutbacks. To be honest with how things went in 2009, uh, we had aircraft sales, but they are down considerably than they were the year before. So, but we made you know we made the adjustments in in the, in the manufacturing and and uh, cutting overhead, and you know we call it getting down to the lean times of things. So we feel like the market has basically bottomed out. And uh, we started to see some signs in December of uh, some more phone calls coming through. Um, and, you know, people getting interest. Uh, I don't know if it's whether the, it's the winter time and stuff, but starting in January is uh, uh, typically for the last five years, we start things uh, get slow till about the mid part of January and things start picking up because, uh, you know, things in the market and people start wanting to go fly and, and uh, in the springtime. So they're, they're, it's in the back of their minds that they are, are wanting to get out of the, you know, the winter atmosphere and start looking for spring. To find out about next year's expo, keep an eye on the website at sportaviationexpo.com. That's sport-aviation-expo.com.